Hi there, it's Chris here with selfmadenewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best hiking shoes currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favourite five, so no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. Okay, as usual, I'm going to skip the fluff and jump right in. If you want to confirm my recommendations, go in the description there and check out that list to ensure you get the best price. All right, so the first one on the list is going to go to my personal favorite. This is the Salomon X Ultra 4 GTX hiking shoe. Now, this shoe is so versatile. It's like the love child of a mountain goat and a London cabbie. It knows the trails better than it knows its own soul. It isn't just any hiking shoe. It's the Michael Jordan of the outdoors, minus the basketball and the Space Jam cameo. And with a weight that would make a feather look obese at a mere one pound or 11.5 ounces, this footwear marvel promises to keep your feet drier than British humor, thanks to its waterproof prowess. Key features, category, hiking shoe that's more ready for an adventure than Indiana Jones. As I said, the weight, lighter than a social media influencer's lunch at one pound, waterproof, yes, Fit and comfort, yes, a bit like Marmite, you'll either love it or hate it, with a fit that's as divisive as pineapple on pizza. Also upgrades, a sleeker modern look that could probably get into nightclubs, a lacing system that's more complex than your last relationship, and a chassis that's sturdier than a three-day-old baguette. The toe box, well, it's roomier than economy class on a budget airline, offering your toes a first-class experience. Performance, balances agility, support, durability, and protection like a circus performer on payday. Also the cushioning, enough to make you feel like you're walking on clouds or at least very soft carpet. So who are these for? Well, if your feet are as discerning as a sommelier in a vineyard and you fancy a shoe that could potentially outlast your interest in hiking, then this might just be your soul mate. Ideal for those who judge a shoe by its cover and interior, this model is perfect for the trailblazers, the day hikers, and the overnight mission commanders. However, it comes with a caveat, the fit is as personal as your taste in music, so try before you buy unless you enjoy a gamble. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best budget option, and this is the Merrill Moab 3. So this is the hiking shoe that proves you don't need to sell your grandmother's silverware to afford a decent trek. Weighing in at a I've had heavier lunches, two pound or one ounce, this shoe is like that reliable friend who's always there even if they're not the life of the party. Waterproof, not exactly, but hey, there is an option for that if you're the type who insists on walking through puddles rather than around them. Key features? Well, waterproof? Unfortunately not, but there's a variant that says bring it on to water. The comfort and build as cozy as a well-worn armchair and built like it too, sturdy and ready for many a fireside story. Durability? Well, it lasts longer than your desire to stick to New Year's resolutions, let's put it that way. And the value, it's like finding a designer label in a bargain bin. This is a real steal. And updates. Well, now with recycled materials, because who says you can't save the planet while looking dapper on the trails? Plus a new insole for that ah feeling with every step. So who are these for? Well, if you're the kind of hiker who enjoys leisurely strolls on a well-trodden path and wouldn't know a technical terrain if it invited you for tea, the Merrill Moab 3 is your glass slipper. Perfect for day hikers who want comfort without taking out a mortgage and are okay with the fact that it might not be the Usain Bolt of hiking shoes. Sure, it might not have the grip of a mountain lion pouncing on a slippery salmon, but for the price, which is less than a round of drinks in some places, it's hard to complain. The next one on the list is gonna go to my recommendation for the best ultra light and comfortable. This is the Hoka Speed Goat 5. So with this one, it's like someone told the designers, make it feel like you're running on a cloud and they took it literally. Weighing in at a, did I put my shoes on? One pound or 4.6 ounces. These trail runners are for those who measure their hikes in smiles per mile rather than miles per hour. And while they might not be keen on a dip given their lack of waterproofing, they're ready to embrace every dry path with the eagerness of a puppy at a park. Key features, the cushioning, plush enough to make your feet question if they've gone to foot heaven or not. The grip, it has more grip than a toddler on a candy bar, ensuring you stay upright on those sneaky trails. The durability might not outlast your favorite jeans with a tendency to pack it in quicker than a tourist in a rainstorm. Also, new uppers, they've ditched the overlays for a more free-spirited approach, uh, which might leave you feeling a bit like a jellied eel on technical terrains. So who's it for? Well, perfect for the weekend warriors and the I'm only here for the views hikers. If your idea of a good time involves more 
frolicking on established trails than scaling sheer cliffs with a heavy pack. Uh, these could be your spirit animal in shoe form. Yes, they may have the structural integrity of a chocolate teapot on rough terrain and their lifespan could be compared to a mayfly on a bad day. However, for those seeking a cloud-like stroll through nature's wonders, embracing the joy of unmatched comfort, these shoes are a match made in hiking heaven. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best for technical trails, and these are the La Sportiva Spire GTX. So this is a hiking shoe that scoffs at the mere mention of lightweight and opts instead for the I eat rocky trails for breakfast approach. Weighing in at a solid, did I just gain weight one pound, 15 ounces, this footwear is as ready for a backpacking trek as a squirrel is for winter. Waterproof, of course, with Gore-Tex surround because wet feet are about as desirable as flat soda. Key features, waterproof, of course, toughness, could probably double as emergency shelter materials in a pinch. Comfort, like a bespoke suit, but for your feet, if that suit was also made of armor. And grip and protection offers more security than a helicopter parent at a playground. And build quality, crafted by Italian hands that I assume were also responsible for the Sistine Chapel. So who are these for? Well, if you're the kind of person who looks at a mountain and thinks that looks comfy, then these are your footwear soulmate. Ideal for those who treat backpacking like a contact sport and technical trails like their personal runway. Yes, it's as pricey as a gourmet coffee addiction, and yes, it's got more heft than your average hiking shoe, potentially doubling as a makeshift dumbbell, but for those seeking unparalleled durability comfort and a bring it on attitude to the great outdoors, this shoe is a veritable fortress for your feet. The next one is my recommendation for off-trail scrambling, and these are the La Sportiva TX4s. So imagine a shoe so adept at clinging to rocks, it's practically part spider, part mountain goat, with a sprinkle of, I laugh in the face of gravity. These don't just approach mountains, but gives them a firm handshake. Weighing in at a, my socks might be heavier, one pound, 10 ounces. This not so traditional trailblazer is as comfortable on a rocky scramble as it is on your average jaunts through the park. Waterproof? Nah, it prefers to live life on the edge, much like those who are going to wear it. Key features, the grip boasts a vibram outsole and rubber rand that could grip onto a rock like a cat on your favorite chair. Comfort and versatility, so comfortable and versatile you might just ditch your slippers for these. And breathability, the leather upper means your feet might get a bit toasty like a British tourist in Spain. And style, so attractive, it just might get more compliments than your new haircut. So who are these for? Well, for the adventurers who think sidewalks are too mainstream and prefer their trousers with a side of adrenaline. These are your knight in shining armor, or rather your knight in grippy stylish footwear. Perfect for those who like to mix a bit of off-trail scrambling with their hikes, or for anyone who's ever looked at a mountain and thought, I wanna climb that, but also make it fashion. While it might not love mud baths and could feel a tad rigid for the I wanna feel the earth beneath my feet crowd, it's an unbeatable choice for rock huggers and trail mixes alike. All right, so those are my recommendations there. Hopefully there's something on that list for you. If you do have any questions, drop them down below. And if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.